Shalom. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We the brothers from the great Millstone Branch here in Cleveland. Coming back at you with another quick lesson through the power and spirit of the Most High and His Son, who this present evil world calls God and Jesus Christ. But in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, we would know the Father as Yahweh and the Son as Yahweh Shah. Yahweh meaning He exists or He to be, and Yahweh Shah meaning He's the Savior or He deliver because He come to save and deliver the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians on your father's side because according to the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and 18, you are what you are and who you are through your father's pedigree. But before we get into this quick lesson, we'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. We go give double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, love, and salutations to the Lord's elect, the Akim that scattered abroad the four corners of the earth, some that woke up to the truth, and some that haven't. To the few sisters, the few Akwafim that listen and learn, to y'all we go say Shalom. And last but not least, to the scattered Israelites that might be off in the foreign lands that look like the foreign nations, but they bloodline go back to Abraham, back to Isaac, and back to Jacob. To y'all we go say Shalom. And we got this article uh the headline say Ohio School District Director sought sex with an eight year old FBI says and that's Esau's Edom's that's right up his alley man our four father Job say he ain't even want him to sit with the flocks of his dogs cause he might have sex with the dogs. But worse than that you can't even let Esau around your Children, because he has sex with your children. But I'm going to let the brother get into the article. Uh, this article is out of New York Post. And it says, Bradley William Beyond, um, who worked as director of special services for Springfield Local School District, allegedly had an online chat with the undercover FBI employee. Ohio school district employee who thought he was arranging sex with an eight-year-old girl showed up at a hotel with candy, condoms, and a bottle of NyQuil, FBI official said. So this devil showed up with candy, condoms, and a bottle of NyQuil. Like, really? <laughs> like, really, Esau, you damn devil? Candy, condoms, and a bottle of NyQuil, man. Like, the shit sound funny, but when you really... Think about it. This man is the devil, Lucifer, and Satan. And we can see why the Most High is going to put him out the earth, man. Because he needs to be put out the earth. Uh, back in the article. He says, Bradley William B. Young, 41 of Union Town, was busted Friday at a hotel in Akron where the stomach-churning items he agreed to bring in an earlier online chat with an FBI undercover investigator were found inside his car. FBI officials in Cleveland said Monday, Beyond, who worked as director of special services for Springfield Local School District, allegedly had an online chat with the undercover FBI play on Thursday and Friday. It is alleged that Mr. Beyond and the undercover employee discussed Mr. Beyond meeting the undercover employee and employees Reported eight year old daughter at a hotel for sex. The agency's Cleveland division said in a statement Beyond then showed up at a pre arranged location at a Fairfield Inn and Suites just before 11 a.m. Friday with items that had been requested during the earlier chat, including Skittles, condoms, and a bottle of NyQuil, the FBI said. The items were consistent with what Beyond agreed to bring to the hotel, according to an affidavit cited by the Akron Beacon Journal. Beyond also appeared to be wearing the same clothes he had on a day earlier. A photo he messaged to the undercover officer Thursday was apparently taken at an employee's bathroom in the school district, the newspaper reported. Beyond allegedly arrived at the hotel park before messaging the undercover cop to come outside with the girl. The FBI investigator balked at that request and Beyond left, according to the affidavit. He later returned with the undercover investigator 
He later returned when the undercover investigator said he would come out with the girl and was arrested. Um, says Bion had earlier asked about the eight-year-old, eight-year-old's appearance and told the FBI employee that he had never done this before. The affidavit states, "Sounds cute." Bion allegedly replied of her purported appearance before going on to describe what sex acts he wanted to perform on the girl. He also asked the girl. He also asked the girl was into anything rough. The affidavit showed. So this devil asked, "Was the little girl, the little eight? Year old girl into anything rough. Like, damn, she's an eight year old child. Like, the devil just wanted to have his way, man. But we got a couple scriptures, man, to hopefully edify and condemn these damn devils, man. It's uh, Psalms chapter 58, verse 1. Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in yea, in heart ye work wickedness; ye weigh the violence in your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Right, which Esau, Edom is the wicked. You know, you got the, the sons of men, sons of God. You got the sons of the wicked. Which Esau, Edom are the scriptures describe you as an estranged person from the womb. So as soon as you devils are born, you know, y'all already got wickedness just running through y'all blood. And as soon as y'all, you know, are able to um, be able to think, act, and walk, talk, you know, and, and duty, and you grow up, y'all doing wickedness, man. Shit like that fucking with eight-year-old little girls that ain't even hit their flower yet. They ain't even, you know, reach their so-called uh, uh, um, period yet. You know, you supposed to wait till a woman, wait till a, a girl turns into a woman in order to start, you know, doing sexual acts with her and things like that. You don't, you don't take no uh, um, woman under, you know, her flower. She ain't even start her period yet, I'm pretty sure. You know, but you trying to, you know, uh, uh, give her candy, use condoms on her and give her night quill and shit, man. That's these, That's what these devils do. You know, then let's, that lets you know you can't trust no school system, cause that 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 man he was a what to say he was a, a director yeah, yeah. for for the school district. School district. So that let, and the kids the kids be more at school than they be at home, for real for real. Do you let these devils you you leaving your child unsupervised with these devils? They teaching your children, they sexualizing your children, teaching them about homosexuality, teaching them about you know um all these different. They put it in the cartoons. They sexualize your child. You take them to school. Now it's a whole different learning system. It's not back. It's not like you know uh, when you go back then and when you used to go to school. You learn about this. You learn about history. You learn about that. They these kids is learning about something totally different in these schools. Totally indoctrinated with doctrines of devils, man. Everything that they learn is lies, and it has nothing to do with salvation. It has nothing to do with their culture. They is. Learning the ways of the so-called white man. Right, scripture. The book of Hebrews chapter 12, I'm going to start at verse 13. And make straight paths for your feet, at least that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let he be healed. Verse 13, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord Yahweh while Yahweh shine. Verse 15, looking diligently, least any man fail of the grace of Yahweh, while Yahweh shy, at least any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Verse 16, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. It so, is. Well, I was just going to say, so basically, you know what I mean? Like the brother going into, like these people um, are very vile people. You know what I mean? Um, you know, um, and at the end of the day, you know, like the scripture said, um, because they're fleshly, you know what I mean? They're carnal, you know what I mean? Like, that's why the scriptures say he sold his birthright um, for, for some food, you know what I mean? So, how, how much more so, I mean, the, some of the vile acts he's into, you know, a, a lot of the homosexuality that Jake is off into, who who who, who actually um, legalized that? Yeah. Who actually um, has pushed it across the earth? Yeah, they put a black face on it, you know what I mean? Or a, a face of color, because it was Obama administration that was behind pushing that. 
But, you know, at the end of the day, it was a devil actually involved in that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, when you take the time to really think about this to show you how this devil operate, not to digress, but who was um, Biden's, I mean, Salaki, who was Obama's vice president at that time? Your president today. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he, nine times out of ten, was running the country then. You know what I mean? You really think they're going to give a nigga some power for real? Mm. You got it. I'll get the job since you said the uh, vow. Uh, um, and then that's that's when all that Pizza Gate scandal and shit uh, was going on too. Uh, so you best believe Biden has he took part in that. Uh, Man, you had the Pizza Gate, you had the shit with Epstein, you had uh, all the shit was hit the fire. You gotta remember it Trump um they got brought up with the Epstein shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, man. This is book of Job, chapter thirty. So who else was all involved? Like this, this guy wasn't no low level guy. Right. Epstein had, you know, he he was rubbing elbows with very wealthy, rich, powerful people. This is book of Job, chapter thirty, starting at verse one. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Because that's our four father Job, man, talking about. Esau Edom, it's about to go on to further explain, but it says he wouldn't even let the dogs of his flock be around these people, man, because they vile people, man. They would have had sex with the dogs, man. Bestiality, homosexualities, all these different alities go back to them in their ways. Verse 2, Hey, where to might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? Verse 3, for what? For want and famine, they were solitary, flying into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste. Verse 4, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. So this is what they ate, man, like peasants, man. They ate bushes and gallows and bullshit, man. They was vile people. It's about to go on to say it. Verse 4, I mean, verse 5, they were driven forth from among men. So they didn't... You know, civilized people, people that actually had a culture didn't even want to be amongst these people. You know, like, because these people, like I said, were more animalistic than anything. That's why they got so much bloodlust. These motherfuckers, what people do you know drink blood and shit? You know what I mean? Like, well, they like they food, bloody. You know what I mean? That's strange. That, that's a strange thing. Uh, verse 5, they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. Verse 6, to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys in in, in caves of the earth and in the rocks. And that's what they are, man. They cave, man. That's what Caucasian mean. Look up the word Caucasian, man. And it tell you everything about these devils, man. They come from the Caucasus Mountains, man. That's not their homeland, but we push them up into the caves, though. Verse seven. Oh, so lucky. Verse 7. Among the bushes they braid under the nettles, they were gathered together. They brayed. They cried out. Because when you go into the word bray, it means to cry out. Like, they couldn't speak. They was filthy. We showed them how to clean themselves, bear themselves properly and everything, man. When you go into that word bray, too, I mean, uh, I, I wasn't aware it meant to cry out. But it also is like an animalistic sound, too. It ain't yeah, like, like yeah. you said, it's like guttural. You know what I mean? It's like, like a cry, like a... Right, right. Yeah. Like a beastly like uh, noise. Yeah. Right? Uh, I think they say donkeys and, and, and right. horses. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, they were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men. They were violent in the earth. They were children of fools because a fool said in his heart, there is no God. And most so called white people don't believe that there is a power. And it says they were viler than the earth, man. These people are vile, base, low people, man. Come on, you niggas walking on all fours and shit, man. You know, uh, they skin, you, you just look at their skin, it's leprous. It was born with tails. Right, yeah, them devils had tails. But then when they sit up there and point the figure at Jake and say, we came from Neanderthals and monkeys uh, and right, shit, right, huh. You know, in actuality... You have the features of uh, of beasts and animalistic features, man. Well, the thing is, you gotta remember these. I mean, if these even well, well, at the end of the day, these Edomites ain't as bright as people give them credit, credit for. You know what I mean, but I mean, and the the thing is, it's all 
um, subtlety and manipulation. You know what I mean? Yeah. People, like I said, when you go into the Vatican, you see images of, they got images of the, the you know, the, the apostles and, and, and they have melanin. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, like the book that you had that you said, like that, there's so many images of, you know what I mean? So they know, they know what it is for real. You know, they just know that they on top right now and knowledge is power. You know what I mean? That's with anybody. You know what I mean? Like you say, the more I know and the less you know, that, you know, that solidifies my control over you. You know what I mean? So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, they up now, but, you know, we watching that kingdom fall right in front of everybody's face. I mean, we all witnessing this. Kind of. Uh, shit, we can probably close out with Obadiah or something. Kind of, I, I had a closing scripture, but if you got, you want to get over there? You know, go straight to the point. Because this is what's going to happen to all so called white people after a thousand years of slavery, man. We go gather y'all up and set y'all on fire, man. And. Y'all go pass away as if it was a dream. Now, matter of fact, let me get this and then you can end it on that. Come on. Um, um, this book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And like the brother said, um, you know, these 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 vile um heathenistic so-called white people, they're not gonna have a a a a a, a, a position of power in our kingdom. You know, they're not gonna inherit it. You know, they're going to be servants in our kingdom until, like the brother said, the book of Obadiah, so like the book of Obadiah prophesies them being destroyed after a thousand years of hardcore bondage. You know, um, it says, be not deceived, not of fornicators, because that's the point of me bringing it up, because, you know, at the end of the day, who was the biggest fornicator? Esau, Esau. 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 It said, neither fornicators nor idolaters, which Esau even is an idolater as well nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous. Uh, Esau is all of the above. Uh, <laughs> nor drunkards, nor re revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh while Yahweh shot. You got it. Come on, you know, that devil got the nerve to say he ain't never did nothing like that before. You know, so how the fuck you know how to bring some condoms and how you know to bring candy and I'm pretty sure that wasn't his first time. You, your damn school di director, his children at schools. I'm pretty right. sure she's not the first right. victim. Right. For you to even want to be in a position like that, it is, and then would like I agree with you on that. Just like you say, I mean, like you say, you, you have a position where you're amongst kids, you know, all the time. You know what I mean? Like the fuck, that ain't just pop up one day. Like ironically, right. It's Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. It says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. And there shall not be what? There shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken. Man, it gotta be a few left, Ock. There shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau. It ain't gonna be not one devil left, man. You just heard the Bible say that the house of Esau was stubble, man. What is stubble? Something you add on to add fuel to the fire, man. So it ain't gonna be no more Edomites, man. After the Lord get done with you, man, the Lord has spoken it, man. So with that, man, we hope that was edifying through the power spirit of Yahweh by simply Yahweh Shah, Shalom, and off to the next one. Shalom, Shalom, Mawaf, Wabu Bar.